What's up, tubers, and welcome to another video. Uh, this week I have for you the first of a promised video at the beginning of the year, um, otherwise known as my the beginning of my seasonal favorites. And since spring is supposedly right around the corner, um, I have decided I want this video up in time for the first day, which is Monday, I believe. I believe it's Monday. Yeah, Monday. I uh, can't, you know, convince me of that though because I live in New England and we just got snowed on. So, either way, um, I have a list here of all of my favorites that I have been loving this past winter. Um, it is actually a lengthier list than I thought it was going to be and is a hodgepodge of random stuff. I have seven different categories here. None of them are overly long. Um, so let's get right into it with category number one, which is things I've been loving from the internet. And first up is something I purchased from the internet. Or, well, technically my mother purchased it, but either way. <laughs> first up is something I purchased from the internet and I got them from justfab.com and they are these adorable ankle boots show off the detailing here it's got the two buckles it's got a braided piece they all wrap all the way around to the zipper coming across and you know crossing each other and different angles and it's so cute they're really comfortable a lot more comfortable than I thought they were gonna be um, barely any heel on it which is good for my knee and they're really really warm but not to the point where I will start suffocating and dying and having horrific hot flashes and I've been wearing them pretty much every day since I got them they're the only shoes I took to Virginia with me which with three flights of stairs to climb up and down every time I left the apartment I was regretting it a little bit but <laughs> oh well Next up for internet would be the subscription that my sister and I have to Ipsy. This is this is actually the new Ipsy bag and the video for that will be up probably next week. Um, we've been getting Ipsy since November now and it has given us a lot of cool makeup products and tools to use that have actually helped us a lot with progressing our makeup game. And along with the tutorials I've uh, watched online, I've actually really um, stepped up my ability to make myself look semi-human. <laughs> um, next up, we will go with beauty. I suppose I could have put Ipsy under beauty, but I decided to put it under the internet. Anyway, next up, we'll go with beauty, which is to start off with the Lush. Um, where is it? There it is. The Lush. R&B hair moisturizer. This is amazing. Uh, it has saved my hair greatly over the winter. Um, it is preventing me from having split ends. It has made my hair look semi-decent and I absolutely love it. And I know I've already featured this in a favorites video, but I will probably continue to talk about it for many moons to come. Next up for beauty is e.l.f. makeup. We're just gonna broad that, you know, broad term that. Um, I have tried a broad range of drugstore um, makeup, unfortunately, because my face does not appreciate that. Um, but I have found that e.l.f. Uh, cosmetics makeup has kind of been the winner so far. Um, I have used their eyeshadows, I've used their mascara, their um, eyebrow kits, concealer, primer, pretty much a, just a wide range of their stuff and I have yet to be disappointed by any of it so I look forward to continuing to use more elf cosmetic stuff and who knows maybe specific ones will be featured in next season's video next up for beauty is or next and last for beauty is uh, Revlon lipsticks um, again I have tried a vast range of lipsticks I still have most of them but I have found to my liking that is the Revlon colors that I like the most that I find myself reaching for the most whether it's a nude a berry a dark I find myself reaching for the Revlon they're just very creamy um, I have very sensitive everything but my lips are particularly sensitive and I find I don't have to um, put on my Vaseline lip therapy before I put on my Revlon lipstick like I have to do with most um, lipsticks um, it I can I can just put it on and no negative side effects um, 
my lips don't hurt, they don't get red, they're just very happy with it. So yes, Revlon lipstick definitely is on the list. Next up is television slash movies. And there's three for this category, two TV shows and one movie. And we will start with the first TV show, which um, my mom was actually watching earlier, which is Outrageous Acts of Science. Outrageous Acts of Science is uh, it's on the Science Channel, right? Yeah. Okay. Wednesday nights, 9 o'clock. Thank you, Mother. It is on the Science Channel Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock is when it is new. Um, it repeats all the time. And what it is is a group of scientists uh, from different parts of science watching viral videos and giving us the scientific explanation for how they're possible or how they're not possible. Um, telling us whether the video is real or fake. And some of them, it's not just the videos, but some of the scientists are hysterical. <laughs> yes, uh, I do believe Adam is the family favorite. <laughs> oh, well, everybody loves Simon. Um, and it's just, it is a very good show. It is a show we can sit here and we can binge watch for hours on end and we would not mind. Right? Exactly. Right. Uh, next up on TV shows would be BBC's Sherlock. A TV show that can be blamed solely on Tessa because she started watching it first. <laughs> It stars uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman as Sherlock and Dr. Watson. And it had just finished up its fourth series. And I can't really give you a proper verbal description of it. I just have to say go watch it because it's... Modern day version of Sherlock. Yes, thank you. I was getting to that, mother. <laughs> Painfully. And one of the writers is actually in the show. <laughs> um, it is it is hysterical. It is heartbreaking. It is just so many different things. Martin and Benedict are amazing together. And I promise you, if you watch it, you will not regret it. Uh, series 1 through 3 is currently on Netflix. Season Series 4 should be up soon, so go check it out. And last up is our one movie for our winter favorites, and it is, shock and surprise, Rogue One. We saw Rogue One multiple times in movie theaters, and what it is, is it is the story of the rebel group that gets Princess Leia the plans on the Death Star that we see her being chased for at the beginning of A New Hope. It is... Another movie, one of those movies where it's got you laughing and then seconds later you're crying, or maybe that was just me. <laughs> um, it once again features a new droid named uh, K2SO. He is, how would you describe K2? Like Wash, except a robot. <laughs> no, he's mouthier than Wash. <laughs> Yeah, that's that mom, that's good, that's good. K2 is pretty much walking sarcasm. Uh, he has no qualms about speaking his mind, even if nine times out of ten we don't want to hear it. <laughs> um, it's it is is it an emotion it is an emotional roller coaster ride that is definitely worth watching over and over again, which I will do, and I will eventually get to the point where I won't cry while I'm watching it. Uh, next up we have the category of people, um, and in this case, I mean YouTubers. Uh, PewDiePie's live stream for Christmas. Um, it, um, it introduced me to the YouTuber uh, Emma Blackery, and I have just fallen in love with her since. And the other one is Gabriella. So yes, PewDiePie's uh, Christmas live stream introduced me to Emma, and she is just such a no BS, no filter, unforgiving person that I, I just love her personality and just the way she is. And if I ever met her, I honestly think we'd be great friends. And the same with Gabby, that just the way the two of them are, they just speak to me for lack of a creepier way to put it. So we have the category of food, which has just one thing which will make these two loudmouths behind me laugh hysterically because I don't think it surprises anybody that this is a winter favorite for mine. However, it might surprise you that it is ice cream. It is Hood's Fudge Twister. I have, in the last four months, consumed I don't know how many half gallons of it. <laughs> I am both proud of myself and ashamed. <laughs> 
but it is just a perfect combination of vanilla ice cream and fudgy chocolate blended together and I literally can demolish a half gallon in two days one if I really put an effort into it. <laughs> Hood, talk to me. I'm good with the sponsorship. Next up is electronics. It comes as no surprise to anybody that I wanted my old cell phone dead, painfully dead, as quickly as possible. So finally, when I was in Virginia back in February, which was last month, holy crap, um, I finally got a new cell phone and joined the iPhone generation. I have an... I have an iPhone 6S now in silver and white, and it is quite possibly the smartest decision I have ever made in my life. Second, I finally got a replacement for my poor HP laptop, which desperately needs permanent retirement because it sounds like a 747 when you turn it on. But it's my baby, so I'm not getting rid of it. Um, and to replace it, I got from HP the Google Chromebook. Now, I know you can't actually tell it's HP or a Chrome because I have stickers on it, but lump it. Um, it is about an inch smaller than my last laptop um, but it weighs significantly less I don't have any power problems with it um, I don't sorry I don't have any power problems with it I can keep it I can keep it unplugged I can keep it plugged in whatever um, I don't have to worry about my charging cord suddenly deciding they're not going to work the only downside to this laptop is one it doesn't have a CD DVD drive um, but I knew that going in it does not I lost my words. Oh, uh, I cannot download IMVU or World of Warcraft on it because they are for PCs only and a Chromebook is not a PC. So, you know, those are the downsides to that and that's why I haven't completely retired my old laptop because I still need it for those two things. As we all know, I use IMVU for character design and World of Warcraft for stress relief. <laughs> and after that, we have our last category, which is random. And first up is... Um, gonna seem a little odd but it is adult coloring books um, my aunt has gotten me three now that's two fingers three now and they are extremely good for stress relief and relaxing and just letting your mind drift and not really think you would think it would be difficult because you know you want to think about what colors to pick and what goes with what but really you don't you just kind of pick and grab your pencils and color what you want to what color it doesn't have to look great it doesn't have to look coordinated just have fun with it and I have found that they are really good you know except for when you're recovering from carpal tunnel surgery and not supposed to be using your hand that too Magnus is the newest addition to our family for those of you who don't know he is a black kitten who is as of tomorrow eight months old <laughs> as you can tell Tessa's handling this quite nicely by the way Tessa Braxton is three <laughs> anyway Magnus has become a very welcomed addition to our house if you ask my cat he won't agree with me but he is definitely reminding us of what it is like to have a kitten He enjoys regularly baptizing himself in their water fountain. He likes water of all form, actually. If he can play with it or drink it, he will. <laughs> um, when, when you fill the water fountain, he attacks the stream. He does. He attacks the stream of water. Um, he likes watching the pitcher get filled, the water pitcher get filled, and sticking his nose in the opening. Um, you have to be very careful after you've showered that you close the curtain and the door, otherwise you're gonna have a wet kitten running around. Um, he is just an overall great joy. He makes the cutest little snoring coos when he's sleeping and, well, except for when it's 2 o'clock in the morning and you don't realize he's under your bed, then it's a little creepy. Um, it has taken a bit for him and Orion to get used to each other, but they are getting there, thankfully. And I look forward to celebrating his birthday in July. 
so that is it for our winter favorites video um I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below what any of your winter favorites were. Um, I like this idea of doing a seasonal favorites instead of a monthly favorites. Um, because as you can tell, I don't actually have that many favorite things. Um, and what I do have, I stick to like glue so I don't tend to get new ones. So I think this seasonal will work a lot better than monthlies for me at least. Um, Remember to give the video a thumbs up. All of my social medias and my blog site will be listed in the description down below. Um, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.